uh, in uh, Genesis three eleven, <laughs> he said, "Who told thee that thou wast uh, naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee uh, that thou shouldest not eat?" <laughs> And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. <laughs> and the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? <laughs> and the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. <laughs> and the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle. Yes. And above every beast of the field, and upon thy belly shalt thou go. <laughs> and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Yes. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, <laughs> and thou shalt uh, bruise his heel. <laughs> Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply the sorrow and uh, the co thy conception. Thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow uh, shalt thou bring forth children. Mm -hmm. And thy desire shall be to thy husband, and be shall, and he shall rule over thee. <laughs> and unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree which I commanded thee, mm -hmm. saying, Thou shalt not eat of it, curses is the ground uh, for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of all the days of thy life. <laughs> Thorns also, and the thistles shall it bring forth to thee. <laughs> thou shalt eat the herb of the field. <laughs> In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, <laughs> till thou return unto the ground. <laughs> for out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, <laughs> and unto dust shalt thou return. <laughs> and Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. <laughs> Unto Adam also, and of the of his wife, did the Lord make, uh, Lord God make coats of skins and clothe them. And the Lord God said, uh, Behold, the man has become as one of us, to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life, <laughs> and eat and live forever. Therefore, the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove the man, drove out the man, and he placed uh, placed at the east of the garden of Eden chariot bims and a flaming sword, which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. Now, um, I just wanted to uh, mention to you mm -hmm, that this serpent, yeah. All the days of thy life. Exactly how long does a serpent live if you live on the left? <laughs> you know, there could be, if you've been, um, well, doing some experimentation with technology, <laughs> that you could have uh, you could have experienced certain things that you don't really uh, understand. Yes. See, it would have been very frustrating, yes, for this serpent to spend the last... Well, it could have been millennia, depending on how you calculate time. Yes. Now, for the very, very, um, well, Christians, yes, the last 6,000 years, <coughs> uh, this serpent was not happy about the decision-making of God. <coughs> <coughs> kind of upset about it. Yes. Wanting to get out of the left. <coughs> Now, I don't know how long time is on the left. I've heard that some people where they came to find out Little Mermaid and Little Merman, they like the idea of spending thousands of years on the left experimenting with technology so as to actually have control of the future of humanity. Gil the meat. Uh-oh. Now, there's a possibility, okay, that the same serpent, yes, that really did upset God at that time, yes, the whole life thou shalt eat all the days of thy life. It doesn't say that the serpent actually experienced death. Now, now let's say that you mm -hmm, are in the family. 